Welcome to this uh, series of uh, videos about how to set up your Simbra mail in your uh, email client program. Before we start, uh, there will be a lot of different small short videos and um, you can always just jump directly to the one that is relevant for you. In this first video, I will quickly go through what the different uh, difference between a POP3, an IMAP and an Exchange account is. Every time you install an email in a desktop application, you will always have to take a stand to this. And uh, if you see in my mail program here, I have several mailboxes. Um, I can go into my account settings and then I will see that with, next to each of the accounts, if it is a POP account, an IMAP account, or what we are now introducing, an exchange account. So, the POP account is a very old mail protocol and it has been used as one of the first ones. The problem with it is that it only downloads the main inbox. So if you have a spam folder on your webmail and if you get mail into your spam folder, it does not necessarily download that into your PC. So you uh, occasionally have to go to your webmail and check your spam folder. Also, if you have created other folders in your webmail, it will not download them. It will only download the main inbox. So uh, this is something that we normally only recommend that you use if you are checking mail on one device only. You are sending from this device and you are receiving from this device. IMAP is a more modern setup and it synchronizes all mail folders from your webmail to all the devices where it's installed. So if you have installed an IMAP account on your Outlook, on your PC, you download your mail. If you have it on your phone as an IMAP account as well, it will download the same mails there. If you on your phone answer a mail, it will go to your sent item folder on your, on your mobile, but it will also show up on your PC in that same folder. So it's a total synchronization of all your mail activities. This is what we until now has been recommending to use. Be aware that using IMAP will also leave a copy of your mail on the server so it's important to also keep it tidy so the mailbox doesn't grow uh, too big. Then the new development that we have is an exchange account. And uh, the, the good thing with an exchange account is that it synchronizes all mails, calendars, contacts and tasks between all your devices and facilitate to work with shared calendar, task lists and contacts. So typically, if you are in a school environment or a business environment, you want to work with share calendars, um, you can update it on your mobile device and it's uh, automatically updated through your share calendars. If you make an appointment on your mobile phone, it will automatically show in your Outlook on your PC when you open it there and so on. So in this series of videos, we will focus on how you set up the Exchange account on uh, your desktop client and on your mobile devices.